independent stamping up demonstrator Halsey here from slimandstylish.com. Hope you're all okay. I am just logging into my YouTube over on my iPad so I can see who's here and see any messages. Let me know if you're here. Tell me how your Christmas was. Hopefully you had a good one. Hopefully you can move a little bit more than me. I'm absolutely stuffed. So today I've got a product preview for you. I'm actually going to be doing a preview on my channel every day from now until the 5th of January. So on the 5th of January, the new mini catalogue and the celebration catalogue goes live. So I have got a whole stream of videos for you and every day I'll be bringing you a new stamp set, new papers, new goodies from either one of them as a preview as to what is in the catalogue. So hopefully you can join me each day for those. They'll be going live 7am every morning, but they will be on my channel. So please feel free to look. And the first one is today's kickoff. So the preview I've got today is Pretty Perennials, which this is my favourite one in the whole catalogue. Yeah, I'm pretty certain it is. I mean, you know me, I do, I do change sometimes which what is my favourite and what isn't, but Pretty Perennials is uh, is going to be the one I think this year. Hi, Audrey. Oh, I hope you had a good Christmas too. I uh, I ate too much. I might have had a couple too many gins on Saturday, but I had so many different flavoured gins. I wanted to try them all. Um, watched Home Alone too, and that was pretty much it. So these are the cards I'm going to be making today. And I've actually popped them onto a crumb cake base. The reason I've put them onto crumb cake is Stampin' Up! have recently made an announcement that unfortunately, um, due to COVID, the manufacturer who makes Whisper White has had to close down. Very sad that anyone's losing their livelihood, I think, through, through this pandemic. And I'm very sorry for them. I'm also very sad because I did love Whisper White. Um, we are going to be getting a new white and it's going to be called Basic White. And it's going to be coming in the thick and thin variety that the Whisper White used to. But at the moment, I don't have it in front of me to show you. So I thought, you know what, while we're waiting for supplies to change over or anything, I will actually do some stamping onto crumb cake, which I do quite regularly, actually. I do quite like stamping onto crumb cake. And I've used a new stamp set for that and I've actually heat embossed it as well. So hopefully you can see that the happy on these um, is really, really shiny. I've set it with clear heat embossing. So let's get going. The stamp set for this is this one here. There's 21 stamps in it. And I just love the happy. I think that's why it's my favourite stamp set. So for this project, you're going to need the happy. You're also going to need um, that flower there, this flower here, and both of these two sets of leaves. So I'm just going to grab those off there. When you actually get the catalogue or you're looking through to purchase or you're on the store, there is also the dies to coordinate with this. There's 23 dies in this bundle. And they're amazing. You've got skeleton dies, outcut dies, and you've also got the embossed ones as well. So uh, lots to spoil you from there. And if you were thinking of picking up the bundle, it comes to just under £43. So if you add a glue or some embellishments or anything like that, you get to the £45 mark, which will entitle you to a celebration reward. And there is some coordinating paper for this suite. So these are the same stamps that are in the suite. So we're seeing flowers. 
and these are on celebration so you can get these for free i'm only showing you six there's 12 in the pack um because you get two of each set so there you are something to look at if you get the bundle you're very close to be able to earning the paper and you can order all of those from the 5th of january at www.slimandstylish.stampingapp.net so on to today's project hi norma hi janice hi sharon thank you for joining me so i've got some crumb cake card stock ready to go this is all one layer i haven't actually layered this at all it is literally just the card because i don't mind stamping directly onto crumb cake um so i've just gone straight with that i'm going to make this one first and you'll be able to see how i get this technique ready for when i step it up and make this one it's really simple so i've already scored it i'm just going to fold it and burnish it And you want to pop all your little stamps on them um, to tiny little A blocks. They fit quite nicely onto there. Okay. The colours I've used are Whisper White. Melon Mumbo and Granny Apple Green. So I'm going to start off with the Whisper White first. And it really is quite a cute little project to do. And what I'm going to do is I've got some um, scrap paper here, which I'm just going to fold and put underneath because as you can see, I stamp it off and I don't want to stamp off my grid paper. Sorry, off my paper onto my grid paper. Hiya, Helen. Hope you're OK. Hi, Ranja. Thanks for joining. Hi, Cindy. Right, so for these ones, you want to use the two filled in bits. Okay, let me just get my stamp set and I'll show you which two. This one and this one. Okay, those are the two you need. So you want to stamp the flower into the craft ink. Make sure it's definitely all linked up. and stamp it down okay do a few of these and dot them around the card it doesn't matter where you put them they can go underneath the sentiment you don't have to leave a space just keep going so then who got anything exciting for christmas I got um, some foundation, which I was really happy about because I found probably a couple of years ago, a foundation that I really liked that was spot on the perfect color. And then as all these companies do, they discontinued it. <laughs> and I've never found one as nice again. And um, my brother was able to order some online. They've come in from a different country, but um, I was so happy when I saw it under the tree. So that made my Christmas. I don't know why. Currently with face masks, I'm not wearing foundation at all. But uh, yeah, very chuffed with that. So I'm also going to do the leaves. And I'm going to pop these wherever there's like a little gap on them. So each flower will have a leaf. Like that. Oh, Janice, while you're on, I'll tell you, that hibiscus gin was lovely. Really nice. Would recommend. So you just want to pop all of the leaves on. Okay. 
like that. Now the thing with the craft ink is it does take a little bit of time to dry. Okay, so just waft it about for a bit for all of that to dry. And what I have got close is I've got my, um, my chamois because I'm going to be stamping on top of the craft ink. But as I've just said, it does take a little bit of time to dry. So in between each one, once you've stamped on, you're best to then wipe it off on the chamois so that you don't, because look, I'll show you what I did earlier. <laughs> I forgot to wipe it in the chamois. And look, I made my granny apple green go a little bit whiter. So, uh, just to be wary of that. Okay, so once you've wafted that around a bit and it's starting to dry, you want to line this up. And I will warn you, there is a right and wrong way for this. Um, all of the petals are different shapes. Now, where's my box? Because it's easier to show you on the box. This bit here has got sort of like a triangular bit. It's a bit more of an edge and lines up quite easy to that one. So that's the petal that I have chosen to line it up because it's quite easy. But you don't actually have to line up on this because you'll notice that I'm actually stamping just off the white. So it doesn't really matter whether it's it's lined up or not for this, but for future projects, that's my helpful, helpful tip for you. You just want to stamp the flower down like that. After I've just told you all, by the way, to have the chamois handy so that you can wipe the flower and the chamois, did you notice how I just didn't do it? Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, in my head, I know the best things to do, but I just don't manage to do them. Oh, I'm sorry if I'm hitting you, by the way, and you're wobbling. It's because um, I keep trying to put my head over the top to see what, that I am actually going over where I should be going. I find that when I do my videos, I'm never lined up as much as um, I am when I'm not doing a video and I can put my head straight over the top. A little bit more off on this one because my, my head wasn't in the right place but it's still all right so then you want the outskirts of the leaves which are these ones and definitely remembering to wipe these ones on my chamois because uh, the white in the green does not look good and it's easier to line up the uh, the petal sorry the leaves I think I remembered on all the leaves to wipe it off. It was just the flowers that I messed it up with. <laughs> not to worry, if you do do that, by the way, like I have, um, it's not going to cause too much of a problem, but you can just take a bold bone folder. I'd recommend an old one because the colours do stain on it. Just scrape over the top where it is and pop a little bit of the refill on and that problem will go away. But... So 
Audrey got lots of Stampin' Up! crafting goodies. <laughs> Had to buy through yourself though. Well, <laughs> yeah, I got, I've got a few. <laughs> um, Janice, yum, yum, gin. Yeah, we, we did try a few different types over Christmas. Cindy, yeah, I kept trying to say it to myself, remember to wipe it off, but I didn't. <laughs> you thought I'd have learnt. Norma. Yeah, the chamois, once you've used the chamois, Norma, it does stain. Um, it stains, but it's not a problem. Like, you can see I'm pushing down on it and it's not colouring my hand. Um, so all I do is once I've used it, I wash it through. And then once every couple of weeks, I just pop it through the washing machine as well. It's always stained and it looks very messy but it is clean to use. The one thing I will say, if you're going to get the chamois, is whatever you keep it in, I keep it in one of the, um, the wide stamp cases, make sure there's a hole in it. And I've got a hole in it just here where it's cracked, um, just so you can get some air around there. Cause I did have one that I kept in a stamp case and kept it closed and it went moldy. So, uh, It was nothing that putting it in the washing machine couldn't fix, but just rather it not happen. So I've got my Stamparatus out for the happy because I wanted that happy to be really, really dark. And sometimes I find that, they, you know, it, it doesn't really leave it that dark. So and plus the fact I heat embossed over it with clear embossing powder. So... Uh, I do like to make sure that it's in the exact right space when I do that. So I've just popped it in the middle of the card. You can pop it anywhere and it doesn't matter if it's going over the flowers or anything like that because you're heat setting it and because it is quite bold, it looks fine going over the top of them. Okay, I'm just gonna pop my box there. And if you're like me, and I have no idea why it happens, but the photopolymer stamps I find stick to the paper. So I just use my bone folder for some, just some extra leverage to get that off. And even stuck to the, the window. And stays on ink for this. So when you use the stays on, when you push it on, oh, good job I've got my little chamois handy. So when you use the stays on, normally I use Memento and just pop it on like that. That's not as effective with stays on. You need to push it on and just do a little bit of a wiggle as well. And then you get a lot more black. Come on. I think there's something going on with my um, YouTube link on my uh, tablet. It doesn't seem to... Be updating and then when it does update it updates with about 20 comments so i'm sorry if i'm missing anyone or i'm delayed with it but... and i stamped this down probably about three times earlier to get it to the darkness i wanted it so don't worry if you have to keep going back over see it's getting there one more but this is why I like doing this part on the Stamparatus. There we go. If you are using Stays On, I would really recommend picking up the Stays On Cleaner 
from the catalogue. It's, it just, you can wipe it with your chamois and it cleans it, you know, you're not going to get any dirt off it, so it's clean, but it does stain. And so I just like to run over with a stays on cleaner afterwards. I'm going to put a bit on my window actually, because I dropped the stays on on there and it takes it off. It doesn't restore it back to brand new crystal clear, but it definitely takes that dark dark off so that next time I come to use it, I can see if it's inked or not. I don't care if stamp stain, I'm not a, a fussy person to stain in, but I like to be able to see the next time I use it, if the ink's on it or not. Okay, put my lid back on. So I'm using the Versamark now. I'm getting ready to heat emboss. So I've got my little embossing buddy. Run that over there. This will just help make that black really pop out now. Let's put my magnets back, but careful not to put my hands back on, otherwise there's no point in using the embossing buddy. <laughs> First I mark ink on the happy. And stamp that down. I'm actually going to do that twice because I know from when I use the stays on it didn't hit all the places on the first one and I definitely want to make sure the whole lot's covered so I'm just doing it twice to be extra sure. Take my magnets off. And I'm just going to cover that with the clear embossing powder. I have to keep double checking. Um, the clear embossing powder and our white embossing powder look to me identical. And the amount of times I've used black or any colour really, and tried to use the colour embossing, uh, the clear one over to make it look coloured, and I've covered it with white. So uh, if you have both of them, do double check it. Okay. In there I'm going to be using my heat tool so uh, if you've got me on loud do turn me down a bit and I'm resting it on to my stamper artist plate I just like that I find it doesn't wave around as much so it doesn't curl as much okay Card. Not as much I find if you haven't put the, something heavy behind it, but what I'd recommend is just sit a book on top of it for a bit. Sit a book on top, go make a cup of tea, 
sorted. Okay. So these black uh, matte black dots are also available in the new catalogue. And they're lovely, especially in this, because they're then the same shine as you've got with your uh, stays on a Versamark. So I'm just going to grab a few of those and I'm grabbing four big ones. And then four little ones which are just going to go to the side of them. I'm going to stick that one to my grid paper. There we go. Like that. And then finally, one of my favourites is our shimmery crystal effects, not just for Christmas. <laughs> so I'm going to pop this in the middle of each flower. And I'm really going to give it a good squidge so that you get a good a good um, what's it called dollop. We'll go with dollop <laughs> of um, crystal effects on each one. And what's really nice is because it's going onto our ink. Um, you'll notice that a bit like when you do watercolour and it actually picks up the colour of the ink and you'll notice that the crystal effects has now gone pink just because it's on top of the melon mambo. So it will start off white like it is on this one but as it starts to dry it will gradually pull up the melon mambo ink. So with this one here I've done exactly the same. And I have just created a frame. So I'm going to show you how I create the frame. Um, I might not show you all of the card dependent on time. Because obviously you've just seen me do the same technique over here. But I'll show you how I did the frame. Just so you know it's not scientific at all. It's like hellsy sloppy all over the place. So craft ink again and your flower and what I did is I started off with the flowers and did a corner so I tried to get them as close as I could to each other without really touching just sort of mosaic them in and out It didn't matter whether they were all in or not. I then went straight for a few. I just created what I thought was a pretty pattern of flowers. Once I got the one side, I played with my leaves and caught up and then just did it in batches all the way around. Hi, honeybee. How was you? Did you have a good festive period? What's everyone up to this week? Is anyone back to work or are you all just on crafting time? I'm a mixture. We um we shouldn't be back to work. We don't go back to work until the 4th. But um, we're doing something which I think is really nice this year. Um, because lots of people went into lockdown after Christmas and then couldn't see family friends and we're just stuck on their own we've um we've said as a staff team that we'll volunteer our time for two days and we'll just have the phones routed through to us and then if anyone just wants to ring and talk it's non-work related um but we're there just for a chat with anyone and i think that's really nice so i'm quite looking forward to that because sometimes you, you need that bit of chatter over christmas and i'm not seeing any of my my friends or anything so I'm 
quite looking forward to that. Okay, and then you just want to keep going around. Oh, glad you had a good time, honeybee. Audrey in tier four, so furlough for three weeks. Oh, it is a shame, isn't it, for all these businesses? I do feel sorry. Oh, I wanted to ask you, actually, Audrey. Um, you shared a post on your Facebook page the other day of um, Wellington Boots and Umbrellas. Is that the shop that you work for? Because I know you, you work with shoes. Oh, and Audrey's also put mind catch up on the bingo. She's got three weeks crafting. So my team of Stamping Bells, we have a monthly bingo that we play along to and there's, there's prizes and things like that. And um, there's all different challenges on there and it's whoever gets the first line or gets the house. And uh, Audrey and Karen, Karen who's usually on this, they're very competitive with the bingo. I found some time to play along with the bingo this month. I'm quite chuffed. So yeah, that's exactly how I made my frame all the way around. And then, Cindy, I have my uh, my chamois this time. I'm going to put it right there so it's in front of me and I can't miss it. <laughs> um, chamois, ink pad, got it. Shammy pad. You all holding your breath to see if I remember to <laughs> keep using the chamois with this. with uh, lining this up this time round. In my head, by the way, I'm going stamp it, clean it, stamp it, clean it. That's why I'm quiet because my uh, stamp it cleaning ritual in my head is uh, still going. <laughs> there we go. I managed it. So I just ran with the granny apple green now on the other outline one. I'll start off with cleaning it first. Audrey, yes. Oh, in which case I'll message you. I really like the Wellington boots <laughs> and then try to find them on the website and couldn't find them. Cindy, oh Cindy you're always baking things, what are you baking now? Honestly, I want you to live like next door so I can keep popping in. <laughs> Norma's off to the fourth as well. Shirley, it's because the craft ink takes some time to dry so it's okay if you leave it for sort of half hour, 20 minutes but if you don't um, you get, accidentally get the white in and then you get your sort of little mark in the uh, in the ink pad. Oh, and Cindy's put that. Thanks, Cindy. You can always use, if you wanted to, you can use your um, 
your heat embossing tool and that will dry it off just a little bit quicker. But I mean, normally when I'm crafting, I don't really mind. I'll do it and pop my, and make myself another cup of tea because I like popping off and making myself a cup of tea. But um, for a video, it's best just to keep wiping it back off. I just find I forget. And um, the white ink on crumb cake paper, I definitely try to use that underneath anything whenever I'm stamping on craft white so um whenever I'm stamping on color cardstock so whether it's any of the browns or the crumb cake or anything like that I always try and use the white ink underneath because it just gives the ink then a bit more vibrancy but on this one because the flower and the leaf is a skeleton you can actually see the shadow of the white come through so if I just bring that up Hopefully you can see the shadow through. So yeah, that's how I did the outside of that one. While I've got it done, let's do the happy and I'll, uh, I'll natter with you all for a, for a bit. I do like nattering to you all. So what questions have that? Um, yeah, tea is definitely essential, Shirley. Norma, yes, I put milk in, not very much. Um, I'm a strong tea gal, so uh, I don't have very much milk in at all. Um, just to sort of give it some colouring, I suppose. No, I don't have sugar. I'm a... I tell everybody it's because I'm sweet enough, but I don't really have that much of a sweet tooth. Um, don't get me wrong, I can eat sweets and things like that, but I, I'm normally more a savoury type person than a, a sweet person. I don't have sugar in very much, so. My brother does, he has loads. It's like sugar, 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 sugar. I think I'm what they call builder's tea because I have it very strong, little milk. So just quite liked that after two goes I'm going to leave it after two and then just do the heat embossing I think I'd have my tea I'd rather have my tea black than have lots of milk in it yeah and I know like on occasion, if there's been no milk in the fridge at work, I'll have it black and all my colleagues think I'm weird. So uh, I'm glad Cindy and Norma like it black as well. Oh, I forgot to use my embossing powder. That'll be fun. <laughs> so it is best that you use the embossing powder, especially when you've stamped in other places. Otherwise... Sorry, your embossing buddy. Otherwise, the embossing powder will stick to all the rest of the stamping. So I'm just going to very belatedly just rub a little bit over those and around and hope that 
that does it. <laughs> See, I shouldn't be allowed to talk and do things at the same time. <laughs> powder it pretty much did work there's a little bit on it I'm just wipe those off but yeah it pretty much did work that's okay I can live with that <laughs> Okay, I'm going to be using my uh, heat tool again, so I'm going to blast all your ears off for a second. Conversations got massive. Wow. Um, oh, Janice is going to go live in a bit. So, Janice is Jazzle Dazzle Crafts on YouTube and she has a Facebook group. Um, Jazzle, yeah, pop what your Facebook group is in the talk, Janice, because she always puts up when she's going live in her group. Um, and she does some lovely projects. Um, Oh, Shirley, you're doing a live too. Everybody go check everyone's channel out. <laughs> we'll all be sat talking to each other all the rest of the day on all these lives. Audrey, she likes baby tea week and milky. No. Audrey, no. <laughs> oh, Cindy. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I wish we could all come down to uh, down, round for a coffee as well, Janice. I tell you, what, I'm really missing seeing people and just nattering and chatting and everything else. Becoming a bit of a hermit. It's not good, is it? And I saw my godson the other day, and I, I do. I love seeing them, um, but he stayed in the car. He came and dropped my presents off on the, at the porch, rang the doorbell and then ran back to the car and waved to me from the car window. And while it was lovely to see him, I think it was worse um, seeing him and not being able to hug him. I mean, he's so cute. He did that thing where he, he sat in the car and he blew me a kiss and then caught my kiss back, but... Normally, like, we do big bear hugs and things like that, and it's... There we go. It's all for everyone's safety, but I do miss everybody. There's all me, uh, me shimmery crystal effects. And then to finish it off, some black matte dots. Ah, oh, Shirley, that would be great to meet you in person. Um, you'll have to come when all of this, this is over, and I'm sure it will all hopefully go back to normal. You'll have to come to our team events. It would be lovely to see you. Janice and I are sister demonstrators, so we have the same upline. We have some great events and some proper ch giggles and chuckles. So, pop those along again. 
and that's how I did the second card. But, I mean, you could do, you could mass these round in a heart actually, that would look quite nice, I feel. Especially as I splurged out and I, um, I bought myself the, the two heart punches, you know, it's in the, um, they've been around for a bit now and I've never got them because I don't really like hearty heart cards, but I decided that I was getting them. And so they were my uh, early Christmas present to me. So actually you could do that with those, but there we go. There are our cards. The one thing I will say with the crystal effects is once you've actually popped it on the card, leave it to dry flat. If it's like this, um, the crystal effects will run and it does take a bit of time to dry. So make sure you just pop something on it to keep it flat, probably for about half hour and then it will stop it and it will all, they, look, they go rock solid then. Really nice. So there you are today's project so thank you all for joining me it was lovely to speak to you all oh yes i forgot that janice we're not sister demonstrators i'm janice's auntie i'm sister demonstrators with uh, janice's upline <laughs> i keep forgetting that it's like a little family tree we need <laughs> but yeah it'd be lovely to see you all again when we can all go back mingling there you are. So have a lovely rest of the day, everybody. And all those over in the States, have a have a really nice day because you get the whole day. We're already um, pitch black outside. So uh, not much of a day left here. I will see you all soon, next Sunday. And do check out as well on my um, YouTube up until the 5th of January, there is a project every single day, a project preview. So it's a new set from the catalogue every single day, um, up until the 5th when the catalogue goes live. So look forward to seeing you on those. Bye, everyone. Have a lovely rest of the afternoon.